I'm going to do my best to put everything that I read up on the no start issue where you put your key in, turn it, you hear the glow plugs and all the lights come on, you know your battery's good and you get nothing turning over. Uh, it's a Kubota BX2350. A um, lot of other tractors are similar to this one. This particular model is a 2008 and it's the D model because it came with the deck sitting over there. Anywho, um, first thing I'm going to do is go through where all the safety sensors are, as you were, the safety uh, switches. That ended up being my problem. I'll explain it a little more later. The wire you see right here goes to a little plunger switch that's very hard to see under this. So when you sit, presses the switch down. That's one of your safety switches. Another one is right here. This is another seat safety switch. I'll show you when I put the seat down, but it's up here. This switch right here was my problem and somehow I missed it. And I did a whole bunch of wasting time. This is your PTO safety switch that you can also see. But you can also see it right here. Right. <laughs> I know that's not very helpful, but I'm going to get the PTO out of the way. You'll be able to see the right level here. You can see the PTO has a little is so hard with the camera. It's got this little bracket right here that comes up and touches the switch. This was my problem. It's possible that this could be a problem with all the switches, but you can see on the switch, it's got two screws. These switches are actually adjustable. So what had happened is this had vibrated loose over the years and slid back. And for a while, uh, Little backstory, I picked this tractor up with 424 hours a couple weeks ago. I got 432 on it, and it started giving me this issue. But when the PTO was disengaged, it was barely touching the switch. So even the vibration of the tractor, depending uh, how you stopped it, was keeping it from starting. And I looked at it and ohmed it out at first. I'm like, oh, this thing's good. Moved on to other switches. Uh, this is another switch right here that... I'm not exactly sure what it's for when you move your lever or um, which PTO you have engaged all the way down to just the rear, it hits that switch. Um, so just to let you know that that one's there. Okay. Um, next is the neutral safety switch. What the neutral safety switch is, is say you had your foot resting. You went to go start the machine and you had on the hydrostatic transmission, you had your foot resting forward or you're not in adjustment or something was obstructing it, not gonna turn over. That is a bugger to find. This gray, try to use my camera. This gray right here. Um, the plunger to the switch is currently being pressed. I actually get in there pretty good. You can see the bar. Uh, I'm doing this here to hold the camera and hit. See how that's forward? Just let the switch come out. Reverse let the switch come out. Um, this switch was not my problem, but it was the first one I went at because it was the same thing. It wasn't that tight and it was slid backwards, so the bar was barely touching the switch. Turned out that was not the problem with the switch, but there it is, if you need to replace it, uh, you could pull it out and bypass it. It's a bugger to get at. Um, I think the service manual says to remove your right, hand, right rear tire, just so it's easier to get at. Um, you can sort of access it from under the seat. I'll lift this up again. 
Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But that little wire lead right there. same time but right in, right in that area is where the connector is you can unscrew it and pull it up this way but it's a bitch to put back in because like I was saying there's sort of a slot for all most of these switches and for it to adjust back and forth and instead of being threaded into the frame or something like that um, it has like a little piece of sheet metal that's threaded and you have to somehow find how to get back there and hold it why you put the screw in so I had my wife put the screw in and I was able to rig up a piece of old electrical wire to put over the sheet metal and come under here do my best to show you where you could see it from down here it's right in that area I'm not gonna be able to stick my finger in there and show you at the same time but here. There you go, you can kind of see where the switch is right there. That's me hitting forward on the HST. But yeah, there's that. Um, any one of those switches could be a real common problem. Being loose, being bad. But, um, oh yeah, before. this is your switch up front. I think it's so you can't start it with the seat up. I don't know why. Uh, you got your fuses in here. Um, starter if you wanted to try tapping the starter and you thought that was your problem open up the hood and you can stick something right in between the front and the middle and that kind of sorry for the poor lighting but that gives you access to the starter you could tap it a little bit um, last but not least that could be a simple fix that I saw was not my problem but in my research is you got your little safety plunger right here. Um, say you're moving forward and you get up off the seat or one of those switches triggered, it pulls this. It's either in, I think the fuel is open right now. Anywho, this pulls in and it cuts your fuel off. So what was happening to one gentleman was it was just sticky and there was a little bit of play so it wasn't opening all the way. So, um, you know, this switch not being right uh, wouldn't allow it to start. Um, I'm no expert on these things. I just got this tractor a few weeks ago. Um, people have had these brand new. People have had them almost 10 years like me run into the same problem. Uh, I believe even the newer models are fairly the same as this with some ergonomic upgrades. And I don't know if they have some of that emissions crap on them. But hopefully... This did a decent job of trying to consolidate um, some of the common problems with not being able to start um, and sort of put it all together. The mix where I found out all this information was from a couple forums through a Google search and like an hour on YouTube going back and forth. Um, but yeah, she fires up good. I don't have my key out here, so I'm not going to start it. But uh, fired up good. Don't waste six hours like me. Hopefully you find this video and uh, you won't be stupid like me. Oh, another thing that could happen if this happened when I bought the tractor from the guy. Turn the key, nothing. No lights, no nothing. And you're like, oh, the battery's good and whatever. You got a 50 amp fuse in line that's right here behind the starter. And this is a reverse polarity. Uh, what happened was the guy accidentally touched the negative to the positive when he hooked the battery up and it blew that fuse. Um, and that's gonna obviously have you dead in the water. Um, I'm sure half of the stuff I've already said in here, y'all have already found out. But, uh, yeah, cool.